it's windy here today. It's really, really windy. But I just wanted to do a quick video about watering tree ferns in winter. And the tree fern that I'm talking about is Dicksonia antarctica, which is the most common and the hardiest tree fern for UK gardens. Now in summer, they are a quite sort of high maintenance plant and they do enjoy plenty of watering almost every day when it's hot and dry. But in winter, you can definitely back off things a little bit. And here in the UK, we're blessed with quite a wet climate, especially in autumn and the start to winter. But increasingly, we're seeing a trend for drier winters overall, a dry end to winter, and especially dry springs. So if it wasn't for the few showers we've had over the past week, the garden would still be really dry, and it would definitely be time to water the tree ferns. Have I watered them before this last week? No, I haven't. Because like I said, we do get a wetter start to winter. But now, as things are drying out, it's certainly a good time to water your tree ferns. So let's have a quick look at why, how, and when I do it. So firstly, in winter, you don't need to water them every single day, definitely not. What I'll probably say is, every week, maybe every couple of weeks, if there hasn't been any significant rainfall, then it's a good time to give them a watering. Don't water them if it's either gonna freeze that night or there's gonna be a very hard frost. In those circumstances, I just leave them to it. But when it's sort of more mild like this, especially after there's been a few days of wind like this, the tree fern trunks can be really dry. And in those circumstances, they'll definitely appreciate a bit of extra water. So now, as we're heading into February, what I do is maybe every week or so, on a weekend, obviously in daylight, I'll go out in the garden. If things look a bit dry, I'll give the tree ferns a bit of a sprain down. But I don't water into the crowns. I just give the whole trunk a soak in. And that way, there isn't water sitting in the top of the plant. Because it's that water, if that freezes around the new forming croziers, that can lead to damage and fronds not opening properly in spring. So personally, this is what I tend to do. I just spray the whole trunk down from a sort of top foot or so down to the ground. And that way, it gives it time to soak that moisture in. It's gonna keep your tree fern alive, but ultimately, it's not gonna be full of water in the top of that crown, and it's not gonna freeze through if we do get a really cold night. Tree ferns like Dicksonia Antarctica then, they generally grow in forests in places like Tasmania. They prefer a sheltered, humid environment, lovely, rich soil, but here in the UK, we do subject them to conditions that they're generally not used to. Even in our relatively sheltered garden here, that wind is howling through today, the clouds are racing overhead, and it's bitterly cold too. We have had some spells down to minus three, minus four, so at this time of year, it's perfectly normal to see some browning on your tree fern fronds. You might see a bit of damage. Some of them might have snapped off, unfortunately, or the ends of them have snapped off. That's absolutely normal, and it's completely to be expected in a UK climate. But don't worry about it, especially if it's your first year growing tree ferns, because in May, they'll send out those new fronds, those new croziers, and they'll be a beautiful lush green color. That isn't far away, honestly. But if at this time of year, you are concerned about your tree fern, the best thing that you can do is keep some straw or fleece in the crown and that'll protect those new forming croziers from any late frost or harsh frost that can still happen. And don't let it dry out, especially if you've got your tree fern in a pot, if it's somewhere which is generally more exposed to the sun and the wind, or if it's in quite well-drained soil. It's really important now, as the days get longer, as we do hopefully start to get a little bit more sun, that you keep them well watered. And that way they'll be set up for the biggest fronds possible and the best looking plants later this year. So sorry it's been a bit of a random little talking video today. There'll be some longer videos coming up with some really exciting ones that I'm looking forward to put together. But just a quick one today, I'm going back inside. I hope you have a great day and I'll see you soon.